You know, part of me is disappointed we didn't get this live-action Clifford movie in the Cat in the Hat era of family live-action films, because you know they would have busted this joke on us. Roll it. Whoa. That's a big bit. Hey Clifford the Big Red Dog fans, my name is Chris. Thanks so much for clicking on this video. We got something interesting here that just landed online that is gonna spread through the internet like wildfire, at least that's what happened. Whenever a cartoon figure that we loved as children gets the live action treatment and everyone has an opinion on it. What I'm gonna be breaking down here today for you guys is our first full look of Clifford the Big Red Dog in live action form. We've only seen little snippets and cuts of what he's gonna look like that has terrified us but now we have the full official look and I cannot wait to see the comment section on about this. So I'm gonna need your guys' opinions down below on what you think of this look at Clifford the Big Red Dog. Is this a cartoon you were fond of or of the children's books? Are you gonna be watching this thing when it comes out in 2021? Was it one of the films you were disappointed about that got delayed this year? But no matter what, go ahead and hit that like button because who would not like to have a giant red dog? probably people who are allergic to dogs. All right, so starting off here, I have to give a big shout out to the person who brought this to my attention and it is Alexis from Twitter. She tagged me here and to my surprise, when I opened it, I was like, what the heck did you just bring my way, Alexis? And it is our first full look of Clifford the Big Red Dog. And right here in all its glory, guys, like <laughs> gander at this thing, stare at it hard, because this is what we're going to be seeing in live action form come next year. Now, before we dive deeper into the look and something else going on here, the way this was leaked, according to my source, is that it was a cross promotion with Carl's Jr. Since the movie was supposed to come out around this time this year, they probably already had a pre-planned cross promotion of Clifford the Big Red Dog with Carl's Jr. That's why you see up above this thing, they're selling hamburgers, chicken tenders, and hot dogs unless this is some effed up cross promotion and they're selling you parts of Clifford the Big Red Dog. I mean, they had to get rid of the dog somehow. You can't just let him hang around the Warner Brother lot. And it's actually Paramount Pictures that's making this my bad. So if you're that obsessed with Clifford the Big Red Dog and want to see this image more up close, go to your local Carl's Jr. and have a gander at it. But seeing it now here for the first time, this right here, I don't know, man. Like, it, yeah, it looks like a giant dog right here, obviously heavily computerized in CGI. The tone of red, though, is, I, I don't know why. I just think of this dog being covered in blood. This was just a regular looking dog until he met his enemies. That's what I'm getting at here. I just think this whole whole movie I really am going to be staring at it terrified or just thinking of the logistics as an adult of how the heck can someone actually want and love a huge red dog but you know what I like my little pipsqueak chihuahua so I'd probably love this big thing too I gotta say it does come off adorable with that happy little smile those big puppet dog eyes and yeah some of you might be thinking I don't know that is kind of small for Clifford the big red dog but but from what I can tell I think this is still the early puppy stages probably only a couple months old so this isn't even his final form or what he'll be looking like adult size we've got other photos here where it obviously looked like a more mature Clifford dog this is some concept art that was released online that gave us some of our first looks of Clifford but again it was just his snout and his face all of us were left puzzled and wondered how the heck did that dog get through that door I also like how down below in this cross promotion they have a bunch of other little photos to look at here the one at the lowest point that says puzzle scenes I think that is him at his puppiest where he is just tiny inside the bedroom of the main character here in the room so that's really adorable you have another one of him ready in play position with a giant fire hydrant and what looks like a giant dog bowl and then a coloring book for the kiddos right there to look at like yeah I think they're doing a good job here I may make fun of it all I want here and make my jokes but you know what at the end I think they actually succeeded here and did something that came off really cute looking and it's also pretty realistic and that is basically a Labrador or just painted red. I think it's just the choice of red that they went with or maybe the fact that this is a secondhand photo doesn't look that good to me. It kind of almost comes off more like an orange red. I would have actually liked a bright red to go with it but maybe we'll see it when it gets closer. Now as far as the plot of the movie goes here I thought this was just going to be a simple you know origin story. Little girl finds Clifford the big red dog. Gets a little too huge. Then things get out of control and then I finally read the official plot and 
You know what, they're taking a different direction that I actually like right here. So this is the plot they have right now for the movie. As Emily Elizabeth, played by Darby Camp, struggles to fit in a home and at school, she discovers a small red puppy who is destined to become her best friend. When Clifford becomes a gigantic dog and attracts the attention of a genetics company, Emily and her uncle Casey, played by Jack Whithall, have to fight the forces of greed as they go on the run across New York City. Along the way, Clifford affects the lives of everyone around him and teaches Emily and her uncle the true meaning of acceptance and unconditional love. That right there I think is a super creative plot that we haven't really seen done before in the Clifford the Big Red Dog universe. Of course if this was a real life situation and someone out there not only had a red dog but had a dog that grew the size of a house of course it would attract the attention of scientists and people wanting to genetically modify this thing so everybody can have big red dogs whether that be for pet purposes or for like us always happening in Hollywood cliches military secret weapon type deals okay so I kind of like that that's the story that they're going with is as this puppy grows some people want to go after it, experiment take this doggy down and extract its DNA that is horrifying that someone wants to do that at Clifford the big red dog so the stakes are already high for this movie and then hijinks will obviously ensue as they say here they're traveling through the streets of New York City I can only imagine that I mean that kind of makes sense with some of the other behind the scene photos that we've gotten here where we see someone in kind of a red mocap suit that looked absolutely terrifying and was our first looks at what they were trying to do with this Clifford the Big Red Dog movie. One thing here I am surprised that they're doing with this live action Clifford movie is they will actually be having Clifford speak in the film. Now I was actually kind of surprised by that. I know Clifford does speak in the cartoon series and he has full on conversations with his little dog pals so that made sense to me but for the live action version I was kind of expecting them not to have Clifford talk at all. Obviously, I don't think the owners are going to be understanding him, but this also lets me know that we are for sure seeing his little doggy pals out there. Maybe he'll be talking to some of the pigeons in New York City or other animals out and about there since it says he is going to come across them. The voice of Clifford, though, is going to be given by David Allen Greer. Now, he might not seem all that familiar to you guys, but looking at him, looking at his history, it doesn't seem like he's ever voiced Clifford the Big Red Dog, so this will be a first here. I don't know if there's really die hard obsessed Clifford fans who are going to get pissed and go no why didn't they get the original to voice him and at the same time since they are getting a celebrity to voice him I'm surprised it wasn't someone huge out there you know they probably would have gotten someone like Kevin Hart but can you imagine a Kevin Hart Clifford kind of would have been perfectly ironic because given the size of Kevin Hart and given the size of Clifford so I can keep laughing and knocking at it but you know what this looks good to me I like the plot here the different direction that they're going with it seems like a cute fan family friendly movie but I want to hear from you guys how do you feel about the first look here of Clifford the Big Red Dog are you liking the design choice they have here part of me even thinks they might go this entire movie with it as a puppy and maybe in the sequel it grows a little bit more till it's finally a full-fledged dog that would be kind of smart and cool for them to do because Clifford is supposed to get gigantic here and I just don't see that so far in these photos don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more movie related content follow me on Twitter at 3C Film Review as always I'm Chris Take care.